Hello, hello, Tess. Do you hear me, guys? Okay, okay, right. So now we have uh fifty person in the room right now. Let wait more like um a few minutes. Then if you explain the today lab, today is quite hard than uh before lab that we have. Okay, I will start right now. So it will be not too late. And if uh your friend come later, you can ask me in the chat or you can explain the lab to your friend. Okay, let's start. Today we have only seven questions left. And mostly uh using if L and loop. And I recommend you guys using more than for loop, then while loop and do while loop. Okay, we have seven questions. Start from one. One is it's pretty easy question that you guys have did before, but now I ask you to change the way you did. Is I input the binary number is one zero zero one something like that, and you guys output me the actual integer value that is more number, but without using any helper. I mean, uh, you can't use array, you can't use function, you can't use while loop, and you can't use person b that you have learned in the class. You have to do a program that that calculate from the binary number and turn it to be an integer number by not using any helper. And second question is uh, you check that is uh, the given number is a perfect number or not. And what is a perfect number? I write the hint in here. Perfect number is a number that the positive divisor uh, sum up and is equal to the that number because it's the perfect number. What I mean if like I input 56 and you have to find that every positive in divisor that is one, two, seven, sorry, one, two, four, seven, eight, 14, 28, something like that, and sum it together and you find it's 64. It's not equal to the input number. So 56 is not a perfect number. But if I input six and six have only three, positive divisor that is one, two, three, and the sum of it is six. You found it is the equal to the input number. So you say that six is a perfect number. Okay. For our third question is a little bit harder, is about the charm number that I would like you to check that. 
show me the result of the the uh the sum of the two palm number of the input number. What I mean is that you input the sixteen, and you found you give me every pair that sum of it are the input number at its have to be palm number. So sixteen can be summed up by three and thirteen. Both of them are palm number, and also sixteen can uh can be summed up to be sixteen by five and even, and both of it are palm number. And if I change the input to 40, something like that, you have to show me that 40 is equal to 3 plus 37 because uh, both of it are palm number. 40 is equal to 11 plus 29, both of it are palm number. And 40 is equal to 17 plus 23, and both of it are palm number. So basically, you show me every pair that some of it are the input number, and both of it are palm number. OK, next. Uh, you write a C program to input a number and output the reverse number. So basically, I input a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, uh, 12,345, and you give me back 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or 54,321. You can do in any number that is, for another example, is 1, 2, 1, 3, 4, 1, and you output me 1, 4, 3, 1, 2, 1. All right. Okay, next question is Fibonacci. Is, uh, this is quite uh, complicated. I don't know that all of you guys know Fibonacci or not. Fibonacci is an, uh, a mathematic is a series that is quite popular. This is a recursive a mathematic series that is the half function divided by the current value is the sum of the uh, uh, one value before and second value before. So basically, if I, uh, you see the example that I came here, is a Fibonacci value, is a, sorry, Fibonacci series, is a 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89. How does it come? So basically, number two come from one plus one, right? And number three come from one plus two. Number five come from two plus three. Number eight, Come from t part five. So basically, is a the next number is the sum up of the last two number. The same as is fifty eight. So eighty nine is a sum of the thirty four and fifty five. So this is the 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 the, the formula of the series. The current value is uh, the last value plus the second last value, and also we have to get uh give you initial. There is a f one. The first number is one, and second number is also one. Okay, this is a Fibonacci. So I ask you guys to output me the first n term of Fibonacci. So I mean that if I ask you guys to pin five, so basically you pin the five number of the Fibonacci series. That is one, one, two, three, five. I ask you guys to pin seven number. So you output me one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. This is quite complicated, but it's not that hard. But it's hard when you have to understand the equation, but after you understand the equation about how to solve it, it's not that hard. Number six is also quite hard. This is a polynomial. You check that the number are polynomial or not. So if you guys don't know what is polynomial mean, I give you a hint. Polynomial is a number, words, or fate, or sequence, or anything that can read backward and forward. So like madams, M-A-D-A-M, you can write uh, backward, M-A-D-A-M, the same way. So as the nurse one, you can uh, lead forward, that is N-U-R-S-E-S-R-U-N, right? But if you write backward, it will be N-U-R-S-E-S-R-U-N, it's the same. And also the number is 10101, it's uh, also like, uh, sorry, lead in the backward, it's also 10101. So basically, I give you a number. You tell me it's a palindrome or not. If I give you 132, 132, it's not a palindrome. So you say it's not a palindrome. But if I give you 12,121 or 12121, it's a palindrome because you lead backward the same way, 121, 121, right? So you output is 12,121 is a palindrome number. Oh, sorry. This one quite hard, but think carefully and I also 
I also uh, will give you a hint that the question number four and number six use quite kind of the same logic to do. You use the very, very similar algorithm to solve it. Okay, the last one is the pyramid, the same pyramid in the last class, but I want a better pyramid that I ask you, the last time I asked you guys to, to create a pyramid from the actress, right? And uh, write me a number of each four. Now I would like a pyramid of a Pascal number. Pascal number triangle is, a, is a one of the, the classics, classic mathematics uh, knowledge. That is the background triangle is a is a is a coefficient of binomial expansion of x part y part over by n. So basically, you see that uh, if x part y uh, power by zero is going to be one, x plus y power one is will be x part y. X plus y power by two is going to be uh, x power by two plus two x y plus y power by two and so on. And basically, if you see the coefficient uh, uh, in front of x and y, it will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. This is a Pascal triangle. So basically, I ask you guys to bin out the Pascal triangle the same way. That is, you not bin the x and y, you just bin the coefficients. You see, right? 1, the same as here, 1. One one is the same as x plus y. It's one x plus one y. One two one is one x power by two plus two x y plus one y power by two. The same way. So you have to think carefully how to solve it. And I give you two way to solve it. The first way is you have to know about the binomial expansion. You have you have to do done some research in the in the internet, but I will give you the link to, to, to do the research by yourself, how to solve it. And another way to solve is the, 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 the value will become the second value on the above, sum it together. What I mean is uh, in, the, in the limb of the triangle, it will be one always once, right? But the number in the middle come from the sum of the second number above, so two come from one plus one. Three come from one plus two. Six come from three plus three. Four come from one plus three. Something like that. But the way you solve like this is quite hard. I recommend you to, to solve by using the binomial expression. Okay. This is all the question in our lab. This lab is quite hard than before. So you guys have to work hard and work a lot. And if you guys have any Problem, any question you can ask me, uh, Dr. Natasha. If you found it very, very, very hard, you can ask me, I will give you a hint, but not an answer. Okay, this is all today. You guys if you have any question you can ask me. Uh, excuse me, I have a question. Uh, uh, Yes, you can ask me. Uh, for the for the first problem, uh, the question number one, can I use for loop? Yes, yes. I I, I asked you to do I loop, but the reason is I asked you guys to use only for loop. That is the main reason. So I can use for loop or not? Yeah, you can use for loop. Thank you very much. Uh, Chris, you raise your hand. Uh, Chris, what is what was the question? Can I watch?
um someone asked me about the the video about oh, explaining about the the last the previous lab right on monday right but i i think i didn't post it on the youtube so maybe i will i will post it today do you still want to see that uh that video if yes please press one but for today for the explanation of the lab today uh i have to uh finish our course the this session first then i can uh get the mp4 video clip okay do do you still want uh do you still want the previous lab class in video Okay, I will try to post now.